Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that I take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, so we return to the series, uh, what are we, Platinum 2, 23 LP, and let's just quickly, we're gonna, we're gonna ban Rise. Now the reason for it is last episode, Shaco, if you watched it, I'm recording this one straight after it, so I don't know what the reaction to that episode is gonna be, but I'm gonna guess it's something on the lines of you shouldn't play champions that you don't know that much like Shaco yeah the last time I played Shaco was probably about eight it was six to eight months ago roughly um so yeah that might have been a little bit too much out of my reach maybe I should have played a normal game before playing a one in ranked so today I banned Rise because yes I want to play the updated Rise but I'm going to play a couple more normal games on him or just like custom games getting the mechanics down before I play it in this series also we're mid lane today uh so I don't really know who I'm going to play uh, on my head, I do want to do a Gangplank mid-episode because obviously Gangplank, probably one of my best champions or easily one of my best champions. And his mid play style is a little bit different to top lane and it's actually really enjoyable. So we might do that. Going to just quickly do this though. Bandit, Perseless, Thunderlords, change it. Well, actually we'll go Bounty Hunter, Natural Talent, uh, Sorcery, and then we'll go. We'll keep double-edged, but we'll change it depending if we need to. We'll go secret stash anyway. There we go. Um, <coughs> but yeah, gameplay uh, mid is really enjoyable. Basically, you can kill people one-on-one, -on -one, but you've got to play pretty safe. But you just go for like crazy global pressure. Ults all over the map and stuff like that. Uh, really fun. Uh, I really enjoy it. So we might do that today. Other mid laners that I'm thinking or playing soon. I'm probably going to do a Cassid in episode soon. Probably a LeBlanc episode, and then probably a Fizz, I think. Is there any other donated champions? Uh, Rise. So yeah, we will do a Rise one, but as I mentioned, I want to just get a little bit more practice in before we do that. Uh, also, Aurelian Soul. I played Aurelian Soul yesterday while I was playing Ranked Fives. Really strong, uh, if you can do it right. I, I had no idea what I was doing, but I got really fed. I was like, huh, this isn't bad. <coughs> okay, Quim, probably top lane. So we'll see what our top laner picks against it. Um, we're going to have potentially a Skarna jungle. Okay. Karma mid. Okay, that's another mid lane I want to uh, do an episode on, Karma. But yeah, so Gangplank is in my head. Are we going to pick, pick a Gangplank? It will pretty much depend what this guy picks. Cassadin. Okay, so that does actually open me up to plucking Gangplank mid because he's an AP. Don't really know why... He went that, but we're going to go Gangplank anyway, because, again, we can now pick it because he's gone an AP. Um, we'll change our summoner depending what we're against. There's three choices, really, on Gangplank mid. There's Ignite, there's Exhaust, or there's Teleport. Uh, all three, perfectly fine. Ignite if you want to go for solo kills or just kills in general. Getting a kill against an Evelyn probably won't be very hard. Um, so there's that. Uh, next one, Exhaust, really good again for 1v1s. Uh, you can get surprising kills with that. Also in top lane, go Exhaust. If you're against a Riven or something as Gangplank, not very, it's like not bad at all. And then finally, Teleport. Teleport's good if you're against a lane that you think you're going to get poked out of, which I think I'm going to get poked out of mid lane. Therefore, we're going to go Teleport versus Karma because, yeah. Don't know what's happening here. Uh, maybe these guys were in the same game last game. So, because like this isn't flame. Just don't feed in mid game. Evil will be useless. He goes stop flaming me. So maybe there's some history between those two. Who knows? Cassio instead. Uh, so that team comp probably is okay. So probably actually Cassio Pia mid Evelyn jungle Quinn top lane with Jinx Karma bot lane. My team Jin uh, uh, Janna. Uh, Skarna, Jungle, Gangplank mid with a uh, cast in top. So without much further ado, let's get into today's game or the loading screen where we are playing Gangplank. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. And as you can see, my team actually has a 50.1% chance to win. Uh, but let's go through. We have a Platinum 2 Gangplank as myself, currently unbeaten on this account on the champion. Platinum 1 cast in, Platinum 2 Janna. Holy moly. Platinum 1 Jin with a 2 wins, 15 loss ratio. And a Platinum 1 Skana. On the enemy team, a Platinum 1 Evelyn. A Platinum 2 Quinn that's gone Ignite. Platinum 2 Karma. Diamond 5 Jinx. And a Platinum 1 uh, Cassio who's actually gone Heal. That's actually kind of surprising. Um, but yeah, the one that kind of stands out to me the most in this is the Jin. obviously. 2 wins, 15 losses. Now, 
the number that I always say is a good number to like kind of judge if you should be playing the champion is around 20 games. But being two wins, 15 losses, that's um, that's pretty bad. Uh, so that's, again, I only can judge him off what I know about him. That's all I know about him so far in this game. So hopefully he plays well. Hopefully he beats my expectation of him. But my initial expectation of this Jin is quite low. But I'm, I'm hoping for the guy. I hope he does well. Uh, without much further ado, let's get into the game itself where we are playing Gangplank. Okay, welcome to the game. So we are playing Gangplank today, a uh, champion that I love, like probably my favorite champion in the game right now, alongside Lee Sin and Anivia. I just really enjoy him. And what you'll probably see, if you watched yesterday's episode, I played Shaco. It was a champion that I was not very comfortable playing. Sure, it got a little bit later, I'd say in mid-late game when I kind of knew what I was doing just in the game in general. Less a little, like less about Shaco, more about the game decision making, um, I'd say. But yeah, right. Um, we're doing something weird here. Kazadin, help me at red. Okay, they know we're here. What we're gonna do... And GP take the spot of the... Leave. I'm gonna throw that there. Probably don't want to stay after they know we're here. They know they will stop you. They'll just stop you and you'll lose XP. There's no much point. Ah, uh, Skarna. Well, it's his funeral. Alright, let's move everybody around. Uh, Jin's there, he warded there. Gonna do this, this, there we go. Alright, so they're gonna ward the red at like 130, 140. I threw a ward there just to see if people were around. Is Evelyn there? Or is she. Okay, they're taking that. Like, he will do it really quickly, capturing that thing. I guess I'll just push mid. What else am I going to do? So Quinn is over there. Cassio is over there. If they die, I'm going to be really salty because it's like I told them not to do it. Like, why? So dumb. Like, as soon as they know about it, don't do it. They're just going to stop you. I told him. Luckily, they didn't die. Uh, just Skarner's going to be miles behind. Um, but yeah. And then he's blaming me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told him not to do it. What am I going to do as a gangplank at level one? Like, uh. Oh, that was so dumb. I'm just going to mute him straight away. He's just going to be a pain, isn't he? Like, he, even if this game goes bad, he's probably going to bring up that level one for the rest of the game. He's probably that type of person. When it was just a terrible idea. I don't know. For those in the comments that may go, oh no, the Skarner's right, he's not. Like, just flat out, he's not right. The moment that they know about it, and the moment that there's an Ignite here, it's a bad idea. We don't have Ignite level 1. Ignite is an extremely strong summoner spell at level 1. Don't do it. <laughs> like, there's no point. Uh, I'm gonna have to auto attack that. Alright, so Gangplank mid. Um... There's similarities between Gangplank mid and Gangplank top, obviously. It's the same character. A similar build. You don't do anything crazy. Jin is dead. Again, my expectations of the Jin is pretty low as looking in the loading screen. He's two wins, 15 losses. I hope for the guy, and that's one thing to say. I never wish bad stuff for my team, ever. I always want my team to do really well, because hell, they're in the same game as me. I want to win the game, therefore I always want my team to do well. But sometimes, again, like I've mentioned throughout, sometimes it's just better not to play a champion. Uh, if you're not great with it. I get that, you know, a lot of people just play ranked for fun. But ranked is the game mode where you should be just playing champions that you know you're good at. And I know that's a slight contradiction coming out of my mouth that I played Shaco last episode. But again, sometimes I do it a little bit more than an average player should because I'm doing a YouTube series. And I know some people will think that's a bad excuse, but, you know. All right, so she's gone Thunderlords. Um, that's fine. A lot of people questioned why I went Thunderlords in the Cassiopeia episode. It's simply probably the best one. Uh, you go for burst over sustain on Cassio because you already have the sustain damage from your poison. It's that simple. The reason why some people go um, the Deathfire is to give them sustain damage when they are a burst champion. They do the opposite. So you, again, you do the opposite when you're a sustain damage champion. Go for burst. It's what you're lacking. 
Oh, really? Damn. Um, I'm not really to get in, expecting to get any ganks from the Skarna. Uh, people usually get quite salty whenever like their plan goes bad. And if he's blaming me for that plan going bad, then yeah, I can't expect him to gank mid. But that's the cool thing about Gangplank. Don't need to get ahead in lane phase. It's the same as um, Thingy Gangplank. Top Gangplank in that aspect. I want to rate around... Oh god, Jin's low again. Eh. This is so insane. Like, it, it could be insane for two reasons. It could be insane because the lane's hard, but it could be insane because you're just not very good at Jin. Like, they're getting dove. Hmm. And Karma didn't actually die. Holy moly. Yeah, we're probably gonna just, like, lose this game. <laughs> uh, apologies again. I always apologize when I shouldn't. Like, I can't apologize for this game. Like, it's not my responsibility for the rest of them doing well or bad. But whenever you're making content and your team is doing bad, it does make the episode worse. So it's like, uh, that sucks. Well, we'll just try to do the best that we can do. Okay, you are typing a lot, Jin. Like, the thing with this Jin, he needs to concentrate on actually playing better instead of typing. I think I might type that to him in a second. A lot of people go into type mode when they start playing, but like bad, because it's what they think their defense is is like over justifying certain things. It's like, yeah, just thingy flame. Oh, so like he's flaming me still. Okay, that's why I muted him straight away. It's the type. But I'm guessing he's just not gonna gank. Looking for an alt opportunity, uh, potentially top lane. Type less, Jin. Focus on playing. <clears throat> right, tier Cassio. Let's get myself a Sheen and we'll go get some boots. Or actually, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to get. This is taking way longer. Where are you? We're going to get Cull. The first time I type this. Wait. Wow. Wow! Jesus, what is wrong with people? Like, sometimes, I don't mean to be offensive, but sometimes I do think people might have some mental problems with them because you shouldn't be reacting that quickly to me just saying type less. Like, this is the first time I've typed this whole game. Look at the amount of typing. Like, I don't know, maybe he has something wrong with him. I don't mean that as an offensive thing, by the way, but I just don't understand how, let's say, a normal person can just react that much that quickly. Like, goes from stage zero to stage 100 instantly. Like, I don't get it. It's so weird. Again, I never really get the mind of a rager. Um, I'm TPing in. Oh my god, we could have got that kill so easily. Alright, there's an Evelyn somewhere on the map. I'm just going to return to mid lane. Because we're going to have no jungle pressure on the Skarner because he's probably so E, I'm going to have to just try and do it myself. With teleport or maybe even running. But yeah, this is going to be a frustrating game. We've got a Raging Jin or a bad Raging Jin and a Skarner that practically isn't a jungler. Oh, it's Quinn coming. Yeah. He's dead again. Like, uh, again, I, all I can say is sorry for this episode. And the annoying thing with my own head, whenever I know I have a bad team or whatever, it's, it's more of like you guys have frustration that you're not climbing because of a bad team. My frustration is it's a bad episode. It's really irritating to me. Quinn is probably going to just start looking for Mega Roams because I doubt she's going to kill Kasten in a 1v1. Um, Kasadin's pretty good on just surviving by himself, so. Oh, she timed that pretty good. Oh my god, is he ganking? Is he ganking? Damn it. I guess Eve and he's dead. <laughs> uh, I can just, ex if I didn't mute this guy, I can just imagine what's happening right now. 
God damn it. Sometimes, and again, I don't want this episode to be all doom and gloom, but sometimes when I do record these, it, I love that I do upload every episode because it gives the series integrity, but sometimes I'm just like, I really could do with not uploading this episode, but I do it anyway because I want it to be the whole climb. Um, but just sometimes it sucks because it's just not a very enjoyable... If, if like The way that I see it, if it's not enjoyable me playing the game, it's probably not enjoyable watching it. So, yeah. Oh, that didn't kill him, my bad. I've got another ultimate, so I want to use that around the map if possible to try and get an assist or something. Just looking occasionally, just seeing if a fight is breaking out, if someone's low or something like that. I think it's the only thing I can do right now because I'm going to be pushed into mid lane and then I don't know where Evelyn's going to be. And I was surprised that I got that one Skana gank, but now especially that he's died from the gank, he's definitely not going to come back mid lane. What the hell is he doing? I was expecting them to run back, so I put it behind them, but they actually just ran forward and fought. Okay. Heal Jinx. Hmm. Yeah, a bit of a messy game. Ow. <clears throat> How's Cassidy doing? Hmm. If I stay, I think I'm going to get dove. And I can't really stay there because Evelyn probably is looking. Calm down. Someone's raging a lot, I'd say. But like, okay, I'm going to say this Janna, she's trying to calm the situation. She's trying to be like, say, the moderator. Again, from my experience, there's no point. A rager is going to continue raging for the rest of the game. The easiest and best way, my advice to you guys at home, just mute them because a rager feeds of other people. If they're raging a lot... If they're not getting reactions from other people, they'll probably calm down. That's probably the best way of doing it. Uh, there's a top lane gank coming. Skana doesn't have ult though, unfortunately. But if he gets the stun, okay, flash from Quinn. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that's the best way of doing it. Just, just mute them, don't talk to them, and they might calm down. No, I accidentally pressed E then when I didn't mean to press E. Okay, so the Casio's up here somewhere. Let's throw that. Late game. Let's just think of late game. Because, uh, again, I always like to be optimistic, even though I think this game is going to be a loss with 0-6 with not much uh, stuff going at the moment. What do we have going for us, potentially? Uh, our late game is not bad. Like, we actually have pretty good late game champions. The problem is the enemy team is getting too far ahead right now. So we might not even get to late game. And like everybody's just dying all the time. So the 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 chance of even getting to late game is slim. I'm guessing they want mid tower. I really didn't want mid to go. No, I'm dead. Just used heal to catch up. I should have just backed off. Damn it, my mind's gone this game. That should be a kill. Yeah, good W. There we go. They got one kill. That's cool. Now, oh, Evelyn's got Runic. Yeah, she's going AP. She'll do Burst, so she'll probably go Hextech Belt, whatever it's called, Proto Belt next. Um, she'll probably be pretty strong in Burst. And yeah, Cassio's just like, 
out farming me and stuff. I can't go near her. In a normal game where we went one kill to uh, ten deaths, I probably would play a little bit more aggressive. But the risk of Evelyn being mid lane at the moment is just making me play like a wimp. Um, which kind of sucks. But, yeah. Hmm... Because <laughs> I will see the one thing I don't want is this death number. I don't want that death number to go high That is always a big goal for me whenever like a bad game is happening sure I'll still try and be really useful and not be like a pure KDA warrior and stuff But whenever I find like what get a bad game like this happens if you start feeding like crazy That's when you can tilt So I'm just gonna be trying to calm it down trying to get myself into a like an okay late game situation Again, it's gonna be hard to get there But if we do there's a chance because our comp is actually not that bad So bottom lane they are going for crazy plays these guys uh, I'm just stopping the Quinn potentially ult Where's the belt? Evelyn's got her belt now. Okay. Oh, Mo. Goddamn Pidgeotto. Goddamn Ignite. We're just getting wrecked. There's just no opening for us to just do anything. Because, like, if we let them... If we, like, as I said, I just want to farm, get to mid game or get to late game. If we try to do that which I'm trying to, they just take everything. Like dragons, red buffs, they're running into our jungle. They just take the board, right? So you can't let them do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be a loss because they have everything anyway. But then if we try to go for something, we're dead anyway because we're that far behind. So it's just one of these awful situations that like the best way to describe it, and I'm, get, I'm sure you guys have been through this situation yourself, is that you kind of feel trapped in your own game of League of Legends. That you're like, what can we do? These games happen, just don't get that, like, affected by them, because they happen to everybody. That's all I can say, really, about it. Stomps happen in every rate in the game. I'm sure you guys watch Cutie Pie Dyrus or whatever challenger player you guys watch. Stomps happen. There's games that Cutie Pie goes 10-0, and 0. there's games that he's 0-10. Every single rate in the game. The reason I always bring up challenger people, by the way, is because they're, like, technically the best players in the game. And yeah, you see that these type of games happen even there. If they happen there, you've got to expect them in your game more than, say, in their game. So, there you go. Again, they're getting chased down. Um, whoa, that rocket did... I was actually going to put my ultimate down to slow them, but then he just died. I didn't expect the rocket. If he survived the rocket, I probably would have ulted. Oh, well. Um, Jinnot's coming down. He has to be really careful. Yeah, because he was like ulting Cassio. Yeah, there she is. Gotta be really careful of where he's ulting because obviously he's stationary when he's ulting so she can pick him relatively. Oh god. Easy. That was close. Nah, yeah, just taking it. Hmm. Got enough for an upgrade. <laughs> but yeah, if we had one lane that was getting fed, it would be a lot, obviously, easier. But it's when every lane loses, it's where the games feel really awful. I'll say to you guys, ask you a question for those that are still here, because a lot of people just leave the games when it's a bad game, which I do not blame people for at all, by the way. Uh, if you're still here, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys deem as an awful game. To you, in your own head, what do you, what makes you sigh and go, oh, that was a bad game? Is it like this, that every lane is losing? Is it an AFK? -er? Is it a Rager? What makes you, the game just feel worse to you? I'd love to know, because, you know, I have my reasoning, and I have what makes a game bad to me, but I'm sure everybody has their own different ones. I rotated down just in case the enemy team were coming from Cloud Dragon, but it doesn't seem that they are. I'll stay in mid lane, keep farming as much as I can. I should probably say as much as I'm allowed, because, you know, if Cassio is in the area, I can't do anything against her. She's just too strong. We can win. 
There's a very slim chance of that. But, again, optimism. For us to win, we basically need to just have an amazing team fight and be able to, like, one-shot people in late game. No, don't take my farm. Why? Eh. I don't think Cass um, Skarner's going to be that useful in this game. Because when he ults someone... Well, who's he going to ult firstly? Someone probably one of the fed people. But then how is he going to get to them? If he runs towards a Cassio, she's just going to, like, ult him in the face. Oh, God. And even to get to somebody... That does no damage. Just hold on, I guess. To what we got. If they dive, maybe we can kill them. Depends how quickly people die. Like, this guy's just taking free po. There's no point even to be close. Because, you know, you're not going to do that much damage to them. And he got it. Uh, can't stop her yet. Maybe I can. Damn, I was trying to bait her with my low health because I could always just W. That's what I was hoping for, to her to turn to try and kill me. Then I could have just W to get some health back to trick her. But she just ran away. <sighs> Not bad fight though, honestly. Remember how far we're behind? We just got three or four kills. Two of them on me, which isn't bad at all. Oh god, Skarner's build, he's going Triforce next, even though we're so goddamn far behind. If you're this far behind, like, go damage. Like, I mean, go tank as a Skarner. Because, you know, his thing that he wants to do is run up to somebody and ult them. Be tanky to do that. These guys are just flaming each other, probably the Jin and the Skarner. Why, I don't know. Uh, they're typing way too much. Oh. Is he going back in, seriously? And uh, damn it! If it hit me, but even if it didn't hit me, and it just directly hit him, he was dead anyway. Quinn is probably just gonna ah ha ha ha! She does damage. Quinn is just gonna split push the whole game. That's what she's kind of built for, I guess. It's gonna be annoying to deal with, obviously. Well, probably we won't be able to deal with it. Uh, Evelyn's behind them. Oh, Kamara is so low. Damn it. But yeah, I'd say we just got far behind, too far behind in all lanes. The level one from Skarna, that kind of put the game on a whole tilter thing. Um, he, then he just didn't gank for ages because he probably was raging and being salty about it. I don't know. Wait, what's he doing? He just suicided. What an awful game. Oh, God. Did not expect that much damage straight away. Ow. That's a random ultimate. He got one though. Oh, Evelyn. Hmm. 
Let's sell the door. Oh, actually, let's sell Cull now, I think of it. Let's get rid of that. We're not that far off IE. They get the Quinn. Cool. We're getting a few picks here or there, which, again, it leads to having optimism, but uh, you also have to have, be realistic, too, I guess. Uh, he's dead. I think the Skarners is raging out of control at the moment and just giving up. Shame. When you let your emotions get the better of you, what are you going to do? Eh, uh, Cassidy, like, don't describe people like that. Oh. Guys, just mute him and play our game. Best chance of one. Nearly got IE. I'm going to wait the 25 gold. But yeah, uh, again, apologies if I feel or I seem a little bit down at the moment. Yeah, I am a little bit down. These games, they're, they're hard mentally. They're, they're hard when you're just playing them, but they're hard as well when you know thousands of people are going to watch this game too. So, I don't know. That was so close. I had a funny feeling they were doing it. I didn't think it would be that close. Damn, imagine if I got that. That would have been amazing. If uh, about a second earlier, I reckon, would have been very close in nabbing it. Damn it, that range. Alright, this is going to be where the game probably is a loss, because they're just going to bombard themselves in with Baron. No, oh, Jin, why did you go that close? Oh my god, my health! Oh god! She went a bit crazy to try and kill me. Jesus. Hold. <laughs> oh, that ignite. Am I alive? Nah, minions. Damn it! Oh, they're just so strong. I am looking forward to get out of this game, though, I'll be honest. These games do not feel very nice just playing them. Oh well. But, as I mentioned, I upload every single episode, good, bad, and the ugly, so that's gonna do it. Throw out a GG, and we'll look how much LP we lost. Also, just as a fair warning, we're probably gonna see the Skarner Rage. I have no idea why, if you mute somebody in-game in the bottom right at the, the outro, I don't know why it doesn't mute them there as well. Uh, but yeah, fair warning, we're probably about to see that, but uh, we'll kind of ignore it because the guy was probably just a crazy person. Alright, so we gained, or we lost, sorry, 15 LP, so we're now Platinum 2, 8, oh, we actually just left straight away, but yeah. Platinum 2, 8 LP now, we lost 15, we got B minus 242, 9.6k gold, and damage done. I uh, did the second most on our team, but yeah, just an awful game. Like, they, these are the games, unfortunately, in League of Legends, that just, they sometimes do make you question, why am I playing this? This isn't fun. These are the, the bad versions, but then the good versions are, like, amazing. That's the thing with League of Legends. It's such a rewarding game when it's amazing, and it's such an awful game when it's bad. Also, I didn't, I didn't even notice there's a three-man pre-made. Cassio, Jinx, and Karma. I didn't notice that. But that's going to do it. I am definitely going to be reporting this guy. Just going to put, like, these two. Because that, yeah, they were saying the whole dude, like, calm down. He's crazy and stuff. So I muted him early on. It's always a good idea to do so. And as again, just my general advice. And I'm sorry that these episodes recently have been talking about relatively the same thing. But they're live and I'm going to talk about what's happening in the episode. But if you are encountering a rager on your team, the best thing to do is mute them and ignore them. Because they get angrier and angrier the more that people type to them. Because they react of other people. Don't talk to them. Then you'll probably have a better game. So that's going to do it. Once again, unfortunately, that is the first loss on Gangplank on this account. Maybe we'll throw a Lee Sin game in there sometime soon. Just to try and get a win or a good win. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. For those that are still here, throw a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. 
Hey guys, so this is the announcement at the end of today's Unranked to Diamond video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, even though it's not the greatest quality, because, you know, there's just stuff that's happening at the moment that's a bit annoying. Uh, but that's what I wanted to talk about. We recently Unranked to Diamond, the last 10, 15 episodes, it's been a little bit repetitive. That similar points are coming up in every single episode. You know, don't rage, don't be that guy, you know, negative stuff, where that's not great. I don't want to be continuously sending out negative things, so... I have not recorded a episode of Unranked to Diamond after this one yet. I'm going to be recording them tomorrow, uh, the day that this video is released. Um, and just, just to say, I'm going to be making a massive effort to basically stop talking about negative things. If we get a rager like this Skarner in the future episodes, I'll just mute him and then just don't talk about it. Like, I might mention, okay, that guy's muting. Oh, I'm just going to mute that guy, he's raging. And that's all I'm going to say about the topic. You guys know it's a bad thing to do. Me saying it all the time is just starting to get annoying for you guys and also me saying it. So that's the idea. I'm going to be continuing to do the series, but just kind of dropping the negative stuff, only focusing on positive things or mechanical things. That's going to be the idea. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. Uh, that's going to be happening soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.